Thank you again for being with us this morning, for taking this time out of your already busy lives. Time that is dedicated to the growth of your soul. Hopefully to stimulate ideas. To encourage each and every one of us to to go within and to ask the difficult questions and to listen to the answers. As we come together this morning, I invite us all to set our intention into the law of mind, that power that responds to us according to our belief that power by which prayer is answered. And let's set our intention for a greater desire, a greater curiosity, a greater thirst for God. There is only one life, just one, It has created everyone and everything out of itself. From the smallest microbe to the largest universe. From the tiny ant to the greatest whale. To each and every one of us. It is expressing itself as us and through us. Nearer than our hands and feet, closer than our breath. It is the very intelligence that turns our food into muscle and bone, turns our drink into blood, takes the oxygen from the air and puts the carbon dioxide back in for the trees. It knows exactly what it is doing. It knows us only as an expression of itself. Therefore it can wish for us only that which it would wish for itself. It has created us out of itself and left us alone to make the magnificent discovery in order that we might be individualized, unique. But it has placed in our heart a desire to know it. As Meister Eckhart says, it is the child who clears its throat while playing hide and seek to assure it will be found. There is that precious jewel within each and every one of us, the holy grail of the mythology of old, the presence of the divine within, that divine spark which the poet tells us we may desecrate but we can never destroy. The divine love that is just waiting in quiet repose for our discovery of it. Today we accept a greater desire, a greater passion, a greater commitment to discovering it, to releasing and letting go of every and any distraction eliminating the clutter of our mind, of our hearts, of our lives, and focusing our attention on that which is the most important thing that we shall ever do, discovering the presence within and coming into conscious communion with it. We are grateful to know that there's a power in the universe that responds to us according to our belief, 
we are grateful to know that this thing that we are treating for today was already done because it is what we have been created to do. We are just awakening to it to a greater degree, more so than last year, more so than yesterday, not quite as much as tomorrow. We surrender completely to the divine love within us that is calling us to itself. We release this treatment to that perfect law, the law that produces whatever change or changes as needs must be within our consciousness, within all consciousness. So that this very day, through this very treatment, a greater desire to know God is manifest through each and every one of us and through each and every heart that is crying out to know God. We release this treatment to that perfect law, knowing so certain it is done that we say together, and so it is.